Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some new Nuvo products from Tonic Studios, um, all with their Santa's Workshop collection. So let's get started. I made my little sheet here to help you see everything. So the first thing are our drops. Now, you know that these drops are a favorite, and there's four different drops. This first one here is a jewel drop. It's in holly berries. And you can see here, it's a nice red, but I also want to show you what it looks like out because even though we're, a lot of people use them as drops, you can also use them as a medium. So I just took it, put it with my finger so you could see what it looks like. You could use it even as like a little glaze or something. Our next one is a glitter drop and it is grotto green. And again, you can see the glitter there. Like if you just want to add glitter somewhere, you don't always have to do the drop. Then we have Dream Drops in Rudolph's Nose. And I really like this one. It has almost an opalescentness to it, which is really nice. And then we have a Crystal Drop here in Gloss. And you can see it here, it's the green one. So four new Nouveau Drops. They're always fun to use all year round. Now we're gonna get into some of the mediums. I'm going to show you what they look like if you're not familiar. So this one here, it's Embellishment Mousse, and this is Myrtle Green. And the mousse is like this, and you can use it with a palette knife, but I like to use a sponge. And I just pick up some, and then you can get a nice thin coating. And I've used this in some of my samples. I'll be showing samples later. So if you want just a thin, you can just put it on and it dries fairly quick when you do it sort of thin. And that's how I put it through the stencil there, just with a sponge. Next we have the Glacier Paste. This is in Crushed Cranberry. So this is glitter. I don't know if you can see there. There's glitter in it. And with this paste, you wanna use a palette knife and just take some out at the end. And then if you're putting it through a stencil or whatever, but you can see it's thicker. You can do a thinner coat of it, um, but it holds its, it, like if you make peaks, it's gonna hold those peaks. And then there's glitter right in it. I'm going to just wipe off my palette knife with napkin and then we have a crackle mousse so you can you should be able to see there the crackles um in it if you put an ink over it it will highlight those crackles i just left it as is and so this is how it comes the crackle mousse and you can see it's very thick and probably the thicker you put it on, probably the thicker and bigger crackles you'll get. I did it fairly thin through a stencil and you can use them either through a stencil or just as is um, in certain areas on your projects. Oops, getting glitter all over my hands. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. So then down here, we have these embellishments. And you get four bottles. Now, if you subscribe to the kits, um, you've received some of these products in a kit a few months ago. They did a Santa's Workshop theme kit. And you would have already received one, of, one or two of these bottles. Um, there is the Falling Snow Glitter, which is like white the Christmas Magic Glitter, the Candy Cane Sequins, and the Snowflake Sequins. And they come in a four pack called Santa's Workshop. You get the four little embellishments. So now we'll move into the inks. So these three inks um, come in a little set. Again, it was Santa's workshop set. 
and you get Glacier Cherry, a white pigment ink, so I stamped it on black so you could see what it looks like, and Shamrock Green. Those are the inks. And then there's also two embossing powders. We have Sugared Strawberries and Pine Needles. And I'll see if you can sort of see if they have a glitter to them as well. And then this is really fun, this glitter marker. I hadn't used these glitter markers before. I'm just gonna show you though here, it's quite thick and it has a really nice glitter to it. So you could draw or do whatever you want and add little, um, little markings to your project and it's very glittery. And so those are really fun, I hadn't used that. And then the last medium is, this spray, it's called Sparkle Spray in Frosted Bow. And again, it has a nice um, glitter to it. So even though all these products are obviously like red and green, um, they're great for the holidays, but you can use these all year round as well. So there's also some papers I wanna share with you. Just going to move the wet stuff out of the way. So here we have five specialty papers. This first one is called Stunning, or sorry, Shining Spruce. And I love these handmade papers Tonic does under Craft Perfect. And it has a really nice texture to it. This next one is called Ice Rink. Now this paper is one of my favorites to use like all year round. It's white, but it just has that texture to it. And it's perfect for background. So if instead of just having a flat card or a flat white, you put this on and it just amps up your card and it looks really nice. So um, I like this one. These come in packs of five. Then this one is called Santa's Hat. And we'll see if you can see the texture on it. And it has a nice sort of smoothness to it, but yet just that subtle texture in the background. This one is a classic card and it's pine tree green. And it's just your cardstock. It has a little bit of a linen finish to it. And this last one, is Candy Stripe and it's a foiled card. See the foiling? And then they also have a sheet. So again, if you got the uh, kit a couple months ago, you got this craft pad in it, uh, the Santa's Workshop pattern piece paper. There's eight designs, six of each. So we have a stripe and a star. And then there's the snowflake and dots. And then we've got the stripe and these little sort of Christmas tree triangles. And then a line and another dotted sheet. So those are all the products in the collection. And I'm just gonna show you a few cards I made. So in this first card, I used that ice rink paper. And what I did is I wanted to cut a little hill. And so I just took some medium, added it to the slope of the hill and then added the glitter. And that just helped divide the white on the white. And then I used the little snowflakes in the background. Now in a couple of days, there's going to be another uh, video with a new die release. And I've used more of these products in that video as well, if you want even more examples. But here I took the embellishment mousse through a stencil. Now this here came from 
the floral frame set that I showed you a little while back, uh, the fanciful frames, and I just cut four of the exact same one and then layered it into the wreath. I took some of my Nouveau drops to add some berries, and then I used the embossing powder on my greeting. Then if you'd like to do collage and add in other products, I just want to show how these colors work well with a lot of other traditional products on the market. This is one of the Tim Holtz Ephemera, but I just layered up some paper and added in some dots. I used the embellishment mousse again and just did a simple collage here um, with some of the products just to give you another idea. So those are three cards I made, but as I said, I've made more that I will be showing you in a couple days from now. There's another video and I have continued to use the products in that video. Um, so check out the Santa Workshop new tonic products, lots of Nouveau goodness that everybody loves and some great papers and check it out on their site. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple of the videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.